Spring pole works neck, back, back legs, tuck, and brisket. We do it for three minutes straight, no weighted vest. All you need is a swivel eye tie snap, quick link, porch spring, quick link, and a piece of rope. Then just find a tree or a pole to hang it on, and you're good to go. Don't have it where the pup's feet hang until they're at least a year and a half old. This is most popular in the bully community and the pit bull. Whoever has, you know, that willingness to build their dog as a guard dog, this is really great, beneficial. Obviously, to get the full muscle growth out of this, you need the right supplements in place and the right diet in place. Jerk pull or sprint run is excellent for shoulders, back, and back legs. We do it with a weighted vest. It really makes our dog's muscles explode. We work them out for six minutes straight. third exercise which is one of my favorites is weight pulling now weight pulling for your bull or your pit bull could be very very beneficial this is literally lifting weights for them but they're pulling with their whole body so it works out a big group of muscles now you got to be careful when you're starting weight pulling you want to take it a little bit at a time a little bit of weight at a time for your dog you want them to be able to develop the muscles rather than just starting with a big weight load for them and you got to keep in mind their joints and you know make sure they don't have like pain arthritis or anything like that but if they're good you feeding them well you have the right diet in place the right supplements to recover weight pulling could be very beneficial they see a lot of muscle growth out of this and it really brings the drive out of the dog especially game dogs little pit bulls that are just very drivey can't stay in one place this is the workout for them you can find a lot of muscle growth out of this workout it's always best to do your research before starting this workout Long walks for your dog can really get that shredded, lean look. You're not going to see a lot of benefits from this right away, but you will see them long term. Your dog will definitely get a lot leaner and a lot more shredded instead of staying isolated inside the home. If you guys' dogs are not getting any walks, this could really bring out the muscles. It could really let them pop. This is an obvious exercise, but it's definitely overlooked just as much as a sprint and run. The long walks could definitely get that muscle showing think of it as you know humans what we do is we take it slow we walk day by day and eventually we'll see some results we'll start losing weight and then it goes same for the dog the dog will start getting that lean look and it will start seeing the benefits over a long period of time now a lot of dogs don't like to go swimming, but if you get your dog to swim, this could also be very beneficial towards them. It really gets their leg muscles popping out and their back muscles to pop out. If we swim, we're going to burn a lot of calories as humans. So if it's really good for us, it's really good for them. A lot of dogs see it. This is more like a cardio workout for them, and it could really be beneficial. Have you ever went swimming and you felt so exhausted after you were swimming? This is the same for them. Even though it seems like they're just having fun, they're really building that muscle in their bodies they're getting leaner and if you take
take your dog swimming with you. This could be some relationship building as well. You know, let them build trust in you. At the same time, you're building that dog with the Michael Phelps swimming skills. So this is really good for them. Now, before we get your dog working out, let's talk about the 80-20 rule. Now, for humans, for us to have a good diet plan, 80% needs to be diet and 20% needs to be workout. Same applies for the dog. They need to have the right diet plan, such as, let's say, a raw you know, diet, barf diet, prey model diet, and the right supplements in place, and 20% is working out. So never overdo your dog. Just like humans, we can't overdo ourselves, and this is what give you the max muscle growth out of your dog. They stop around two years so that's plenty of times for you to get the diet right lose this video if you like the video hit the like button subscribe to the channel and let me know what you guys think about these workouts which workout do you guys want to start with i'm kind of curious what you guys want to do and i'll see you guys later i'm out